All right, everyone experiences setbacks in life, whether it's a breakup, a layoff, or just a bad day. <laughs> Learning from the experience, though, can help you move forward. Yeah, but it's definitely not an easy journey. And Amy Schoenthal is the author of The Setback Cycle. She joins us now with tips to get through those tough moments so we can all move forward in life. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. All right, so it may not feel like it in the moment, but a setback, it can actually be a positive experience. It's, it's how you react to it, you say. Exactly. Like you said, it does not feel positive in the moment you're experiencing it, but a setback really sets the stage for transformation. Mm -hmm. When we experience a setback, our brains undergo a dopamine dip, and that's how the rewiring and learning and, you know, pivoting and mental flexibility takes shape. Okay. And that's really why, you know, our, that's how we build resilience. Okay, so it's interesting. You have like a four-step process for healing after you've had a setback. Um, two is to give yourself some grace, mm -hmm. um, which I found interesting. Um, what does that mean and why? So the second phase of the setback cycle is called embrace. And yes, of course you have to give yourself grace, but this is actually the part that can be a little icky because you have to really evaluate what happened, learn from what you may have done, evaluate, you know, really, really think through anything you may have learned. And humans by nature are kind of conditioned to avoid discomfort, yeah. but this is where you have to sit with your discomfort yeah. because again, that's really the catalyst for change. Mm -hmm. All right, so the next phase involves finding your passion. Uh, can you give us an example of what that might entail? Of course. Phase three of the setback cycle is explore. And this is the most fun phase. Once you've sat in your discomfort, you get to go out and actually start to play with what might be possible. Mm -hmm. You get to tap into what your superpowers are, what you're good at. You really start to merge your passion with your strength. Yeah. And that can unlock so many more opportunities than people really realize as they enter the setback cycle. Yeah, and you mentioned that the final step is to take action, but what if, and not to think negative, but what if that action ends up with another setback? <laughs> that can happen all the time. Okay. You can be cycling through one major setback and be hit with a couple minor ones along the way. And the last phase of the setback cycle is emerge. And I'd love to tell you that it's this glorious moment where you just overcome your setbacks and you never have one again. But emerge is also sort of rife with its own set of setbacks. After all the evaluating and planning and exploring, mm -hmm. Sometimes your energy is a little depleted and moving yeah. from planning to action can be incredibly hard. So I have a few activities in the book that can guide you through that. And, and in your book, The Setback Cycle, you share some personal stories from some very famous people. Um, tell us some of what they went through. Of course, one of my favorite stories is that of Norma Kamali. She's a well-known mm -hmm. fashion designer. She, she's the one who brought hot pants, which are actually short shorts, to America <laughs> back in the 1960s, 70s. And her setback, well, she's had many setbacks, but one major one that took place was when she first started her business, she let her husband run the finances. And he was going out all the time, mm. there was a lot of infidelity, and one woman who he was actually cheating on Norma mm. with mm -hmm. came into Norma's store, went over to her workstation, started talking to her, and bam, the ceiling actually crashed mm. down over Norma's workstation. And Norma told me that there is always one thing that happens that gives you the clarity you need yeah. to take action and know that it is time to move on. Mm -hmm. And the ceiling, literally and figuratively, crashing down mm. over her workstation was the all the signal she needed to leave her husband, mm -hmm. leave that business. So with $98 to her name, mm -hmm. she got her own apartment, wow. she completely rebuilt, she asked for favors, and lo and behold, three years later, she created OMO on my own, which is the brand oh, yeah. that spurred her into the multi-billion dollar global fashion brand that she, she is emerged. today. Mm -hmm. She fully emerged. Okay. Hey, if, if yeah. the universe is sending you a sign, see it and move on. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Embrace right. it. Thank you right. so Thank much, you. Amy. Thank you uh, for joining us.